Yeah, back down here where it all started, this is a court complex for county civil, circuit civil, in St. Louis County. Circuit 19, St. Louis County. I used to work in it. They killed him back then. They canned him. Four years. One of the longest standing jobs I had as a W-2 employee. So I just came here to take care of a little business, a little $30 transaction for a work opportunity. So I want to encourage people that sometimes you got that Friday, sometimes you got off at such and such time, the place of business is open for business, maybe that hour or two past what you were off of work or what have you. So I thought about it. Fort Pierce is the county seat of St. Lucie County. A lot of the namesakes of Fort St. Lucie. And thanks to the St. Lucie Mets, New York Mets organization, making it that way, real estate boom that way. It's downtown Fort Pierce. This is where a lot of the business is place. And like a lot of places, the annexes go to where the money went. But I came down here because I live in this city, Fort Pierce, born and raised. Don't live on two sides of it. Thank God only two sides of it. Some people move a lot in their young life. You know? And part of why I push play this time is for my two neighborhoods. For my two neighborhoods, for Fort St. Lucie High School that I graduated from. For my two universities. For University of Southern Mississippi and Northeastern University. There's some opportunities that kind of run in my family, like something my dad started a long time ago in his youth, and he's on his seventh decade. He's in his seventies, and he sort of he sort of wished he stuck with it. And don't we all have some situations like that? Like, had I kept that job, or had I went with my department manager? I got a story like that from the clerk of court. You know, for example, I had good manager. She's still in my life. She's in my phone contacts, she's on my Facebook friends list. And she really helped unearth some greatness in me while I was going through all that. When I had a bachelor's, thank God I have a bachelor's. That's like kind of above the credential around here. And I was working there because just surveying the legal field. That's why as a young black man, I'm, I'm happy to tell you I'm downtown on legal searches. And I was respectable to our St. Lucie County deputy sheriffs and to those county and state employees that were taking care of that $30 transaction for this good union job opportunity. And that's something that people gotta, they gotta survey the land. Like you can make it where you from. Whether you're in Fort Pierce or New York, whether you're in Port St. Lucie or Pittsburgh, whether you're in Vero Beach or Stanford, Connecticut, wherever you are, Westport, Connecticut, because there's people in a lot of those cities making stuff happen. So I'm giving life a chance. Yes, it's $30. Yes, I just started working traditional W-2 again. I'm working two jobs, you know, one through a work, through a temp agency, and it's actually turning out to be partially my full-time job, and it's something that my baby brother checked in with me this morning. All the kids have been on well, because my baby brother blessed, and I really mean that, like, I got the Joseph, he got the Benjamin when it comes to the family. It's like, I really took a an understanding, a new knowledge of Joseph in the Bible. Yes, he went through some things. And little did I know I was going to go through some things. Kind of in that same window time and a little longer. But I didn't know that yet. Joseph went through some things between the age of 17 and, and 30. But, oh, Joseph... In the, in the Faith Hall of Fame of eternal life with God on heaven and earth, on earth and in heaven, Joseph did pretty well. But Benjamin, oh, Benjamin was the wealth. And what was really cool, I just was listening to and interacting with Deion Sanders Jr., well-off media. He was live this Friday, February 16th. 2024. So I had some time to ride. It's like 20 and 30 minutes between these two towns, depending on what time of day and night you're traveling. And Junior, he, he's so real for being a product of where he and his dad come from. 
to speak that. Like people kind of misunderstand the bling, the shine, the luxury cars. It's like once you have it, you know, once your family has it, your mom, your dad, once you have it, try to realize still got a maintenance and saying, still got a service. Yes, yes, it's nice. Yes, I'm going to rep it. But he said, he said, I can give a care. He said, because people were attacking him. He had his chains on him. He said, two chains, three braces, whatever. Three chains, two bracelets in his house. Stuff that people rap about. But just like being a product of his dad being from Fort Myers and him being a Fort Myers, Tallahassee, Atlanta, Dallas, all that. Baltimore, D.C., all that stuff. Cincinnati, his dad blessed him to see everywhere. San Francisco, he's seen all that. And I respect the wisdom. He's a few days younger than me. Not a lot of days, a few days. And he said, I give a care. He said, I could be driving $2,000 Crown Vic for Knoxville. Straight like that. But yet, he does have a Corvette, like a C8 special package. He has a Corvette. But it came from doing the very thing I'm doing. Creating, you know what I'm saying? But he had hard times, even though he's a trust fund baby. He had hard times. But that's why he keeps going. And I'm just listening to this man. And I'm listening to him. And I'm listening to my buddy Jackson at work. And I'm listening to the faith, the faith preacher. And some of them which Dion Jr. and his dad are connected to. Like we come from similar family trees, but that word of faith for me and LTMA for him and his dad. And the LTMA is Leroy Thompson, the alliance he and his his natural sons and spiritual sons have built in a certain principle. And you can glean from the principle. And I think people are too busy attacking people and what they do and moments of their life and what they're saying. Me at 37 is different than me at 30 and 31. It's like I came from the right tree. I knew some things. But I think I was pinned up so much as a student athlete being the good boy because I was conditioned to be the good boy. You know, parentally, family, and certain W-2 jobs. I used to fear getting fired, you know? And that, that fear of loss, you shouldn't have that. That fear of lack. So prosperity is a key. It's a key. I don't listen to people when they go to hating on prosperity. Because I ain't gonna lie, both our family trees, not only do they talk about that, they talk about how to get along with your parents, parents how to get along with your child, siblings how to get along with your sibling, co-worker how to get along with your co-worker. Nobody report that when they start saying prosperity preacher. That's like a quarter of their content. They talk often about how to get along with people. That Maybe you shouldn't be so locked into confessions at times or division boards sometimes. Not saying you shouldn't do it. They help. But sometimes God has to wreck my plan. Sometimes God got to wreck Jermaine's plan because Jermaine might have overstayed his welcome on something. Jermaine might have pushed a year or two later on something. Jermaine might have forgot to pick up some credentials along the way. It's not a show the water beating yourself up moment. It's just that even though I'm in a rocky auto insurance situation, I get out of it. So it was worth them $30. And what I learned for anybody that had to do it, certain processes when you're trying to get credentials, work credentials, they're going to electronically send that to that organization. So even though I barely got time because now I got two jobs, I'm preparing for my breakout moment because I'm going to work hard, work as unto the Lord in both those jobs and inspire other people to do it too. But I'm preparing for the day that I can take advantage of that opportunity that my dad once tasted, that some of his, some of our family friends have tasted and still are. Because it's something that Pastor Bill Winston talks about. Like we got to learn to create our own job. We got to stop waiting on the sideline. We got to go get that good job now. Like Bishop Dan off of that LTMA tree. He had a he had a reel that's out there that's a current event in 2024. He's preaching a message. He's saying it could be three weeks. God telling you to put in for the job, apply for the job. You mess around, you mess around, you miss your window of time. 
it's better that I do that now, even though I just started a new job technically last night. Evening job, not, not an overnight. It's better to put it in now so that I have the option. And I even see in the paperwork, they line it up with work union opportunities. I might even be able to go get a physical, you know, until about 7 o'clock this evening. I'm making use of my Friday time because I'm off from the evening job. But I'm going in sort of morning to midday tomorrow. I'm going to put in work. I'm going to do better than I did the first night. And one of the things with me is my hiring manager, she was okay. It was my first night. But sometimes it's even like Deanna was saying. Sometimes your family get on you. Oh, you, oh, you can't do that. Oh, and and not to not to do the dirty laundry. Sometimes you're overcoming something that some people shouldn't put that on you. My job is to get better, no matter what they say. I don't believe it, but it's just like part of the problem with people that fight prosperity is you can see the fruit of it in your own life. People out here being the prosperity pol- prosperity preacher police. You could be the one. The Joseph, the Joseph anointing, the Joseph touch, the Joseph mantle in your family. You could be the one going to break people out, but it look like you're going through some bad stuff. And it ain't always that you stupid. It ain't always that you dumb. It's not like you like really going through some bad stuff. But it's almost like the fruit of the spirit, the long suffering, how I handle this, the Joseph thing, the Job thing. Just going through stuff. You have to keep your mouth straight. It's this message Bishop Butler, Bishop Keith Butler taught. One one of the key messages of my life, that December 31st, 2008 message, where he was preaching double for your trouble. And that was back in that financial crisis, real estate crisis. I had just graduated. It was the message going into 2009. You got to keep your mouth straight and don't mess up the setup. I got some pretty good setup. Working with a temp agency. The work is consistent. It's actually an athletic facility, an athletic event. It's it's like, here's a moment where my two degrees in sports are actually valid because I put it in my resume, LinkedIn, and, and in my Indeed. But what's best is that I keep the relationship right because I got the superintendent, the big boss's phone number. He has mine. We got similar life story like some people they don't realize you can have heart to heart and build rapport with your managers and other people on the job because there's other supervisors there they're all watching they're all watching their employees they're all watching the temp workers these are the men of my community the men of my state the men of my local community you never know when we're gonna do business again you never know when I'm helping their child get into college, get scholarships. You never know when I'm signing their child to my athletic organization. Anything, you know? And I'm going to press through this moment, you know, because I got good news. The work continues next week. So, but the high auto insurance bill person would say that's not high, but when you just got hijacked to your plan, but you got, Thank God you got seed. The job is the job and the jobs are seed. And I may have to double down like this for a few days. But since I'm crazy enough, like Bishop Dan, I told these people at Mount Gilead I was crazy. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta you gotta cast forth. So I've been this is like sort of week three on the temp job. First temp agency, first temp job. And I'm gonna put my charger on to the best of all this moment. Because I got to upload it after. Boom. Charge bank. This is my baby charge bank. But I got a new big one in case I run out on that one too. See, baby charge bank. My arm fell yesterday. But I'm clearing the way. Clearing the way. I want my 30, I want my 38th birthday to mean something. Yeah. It's like, I have a choice if I have to be that workaholic. You know. There's one job paying 12 an hour, and that's higher than I used to make there, but that's adjusted with inflation. They might be making that or more. 
You know, that's not the whole reason, but to comparatively speaking. Here I am a guy with a bachelor's and a master's. I'm just trying to make twelve dollars an hour. Real out here. The night job, fifth the evening job, fifteen an hour. The night and the evening and weekend jobs. We hear that work union job, we're looking at twenty and thirty some dollars an hour. So I gotta put that thirty dollar seed in the ground. And that's something that family would understand. Well, you're doing that to better yourself. You know, I don't have a smoking habit. You know, I don't have a drug habit. And that's part of the little transaction I just did. You know, some people smoke. That's not part of it. But the drug, thank God I don't have that problem. So, you know, results are to be determined. But I keep my body clean. You know, I don't really partake of alcohol heavily because of some things I've seen in my family. It's like Eric Thomas said, he saw the men in his family, they couldn't handle it. It didn't it didn't look like they handled it well. It looked like it owned their life and wrecked their life. I, I have a similar thing and he can just put it to words where nationally and internationally understood. You know. But yes people around me drink. Yes I have drank before, but I'm not a person for getting drunk, you know. So, yeah, the other thing would be the physical. I might be able, to, I might be able to do that tonight. Go get my next money to do that. You know, I can't even think. I'm in my wallet. Thank God. I don't want pay card. All that. Might be able to do that. It might be able to do that for me. But the next thing would be something that you know. Sometimes we haven't heard of it, sometimes we heard of it, but sometimes we'll talk it, but we won't get it. After that, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the present. To kill that $30 transaction, the physical will be the $20 transaction. Let this thing out in the future. Whatever date I can get away with it, they schedule for that TWIC, the Twit card. And it opened the door for so many jobs, you know. And then eventually that labor union's work card. So step by step, as I get each payday, each paycheck, I'm going to do something about it, you know. I've always been an investor. I've always been one to take care of my credit, clean up my credit. But I haven't always had the doors open. So it's time It's time to, like Dion Jr. was saying, and like Jackson was saying at the job, and like Bishop Dan saying from the pulpit, these men ain't wasting their voices. Just put in for the opportunities. Make way for the opportunities, you know. So I just want to encourage somebody. You know, don't don't overextend yourself, but you might be just like me. Your county building might have Kendra Lamar open. Go handle your county building business. Don't let it be county building blues, you know? And it wasn't a dead old, it's an opportunity of a door I'm open. You know, at least open the door, see what happens. Because I, I got some big, big plans like the country song. You know, I really do. I don't always want to be under the gun, as people say. Flying by the seat of my pants, helter skelter, all over the place. You know all the bad stuff people say. Yes, I can do many things. I have many talents and I have many streams of income. But man, did y'all see that Pepto Bismol pink drink? That thing is Pepto Bismol pink. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know if you saw it. Hope you did. The Jeep, the Jeep Wrangler, but it's like Pepto Bismol pink, or shall I say? Pelican pink and black. It's like black is his fender flares in the top, but it's like pink paint. People be stunting, man. Welcome to the South. <laughs> People be stunting, man. But just opening all the doors because what opened doors for me when I was doing ride share like heavily like I was, and it's going to take some time before I can get back out there. In any reason, any capacity, as a side hustle. Here I was all in airports. I got to see that Delta Airlines, for example, is just quite the organization to work for. And, you know, likewise, American, JetBlue, United. So it's time for me to get those credentials, and the county building will help me, you know. So step by step, I don't have a passport yet. I can get a passport here. Mr. Work Guy, I didn't get it when I was there. 
that opportunity to get in on discount as an employee, but financially it just wasn't making sense at the time. And the reason, reason that it's worth you hearing that is that I'm 27 now. I started there when I was 26. And I said this in a previous video, sometimes people aren't communicating things effectively. Yes, I yes I got a high education, but I'm down to earth. I come I come from the dirt. I come from the come from the hood. I come from the country. But I was always loved and education was priority. But sometimes a person has no opportunity, but they're only thinking about fast cash. Or this person made plenty of money. Or look like they lucky. A lot of a lot of no matter what your skin color and your cultural background, people relate to you like that. Or they're thinking about the longevity and the pension. But I'm saying to you, I'm willing to put it on display, spoon feeding it, that maybe I can work both for it. I've been talk, I've been talking at, probably said it in a previous video, but I've talked to people around me that's talking to me about that. And it's something that, you know, my older sister and my younger brother, they understand. And even my friend Greg, I was, I was on his rooms for it. You don't have to marry these jobs. You know what I'm saying? Work as unto the Lord. Work hard. Be, be somebody they like. But you don't have to run yourself in the ground. You might come up on one good opportunity. Yeah, I'm working too because I kind of have to. And it's giving me, you know, it's a chance to get out of, out of some crazy stuff. Pay off stuff. Pay down stuff. But the door will open, you know. Because the tenth thing, the word is tenth. When that building project finishes, it finishes. And it's up to me what I'm going to do next. So that's why I seek for this opportunity. You know, and the evening opportunity, I might get good at that job. But yet the door might open to where I can go for that one thing since I handled my business. It ain't going to happen tomorrow, but I can do something about it today. So approach life like that. You know, don't don't worry and don't let people call you a thinking worrier. Just do what you can with what you have with where you are. You know, you know the thing. The doctor thing, the doctor thing. The it my let. You know, all that right there. Alright, so I'm gonna sign off for real this time. Be blessed.